Had your kids, had your wife. Let's go. It is definitely time to overreact a bit. Let's talk about all the fun and frolicking with our brand new 2024 Dodgers regular season. This is Tim Rogers. What do I do? Oh, let's see. I rhyme, first of all, with your Los Angeles Dodgers. With Dodgers 2080, we are in the Dodgers 2080 experience. So, what's been happening, everybody? It's good to be back. I know it's been, I think, last Sunday was the last time I was on. Saturday or Sunday, whatever. Um, Been really busy at work. That's just life. Um, Put in a good 57 hours so far for the work week. Again, that's just life. And we've got to deal with it. So, what do y'all want to talk about? Well, let's get started. I'm going to get started. First, just a quick little a little thing for me. And I'm going to reference my, my dude here, um, Sad You Darvish. Because I think it's important. Talking about the Captain Obvious, Shohei Otani, and Ipe... Maharaza, Maserata, whatever. I can't remember his last name. Gosh darn, I'm tired. You know me. I'm always tired. So I'd like to end my day with gratitude. I met a wealth of new friends I think will be helpful in life. Today I met experts in gambling, law, banking, bank wires, financial management, gambling addiction, problem gambling. Add one extra special person whose dad is a money laundering expert. I think that is some elite tweeting. So... First and foremost, we don't have much information. Things will come out, and I'm going to let it happen as it can. What I've learned in the last four years since a certain thing happened four years ago is to wait. Because every little thing that's happened since then has always been overreaction, overreaction, overreaction. And, yeah, my title's a little clickbaity. I will admit it. Straight up. But I am not here to overreact. Especially on a case like this. I think, really, my questions come from... um, I honestly don't understand why it's illegal for someone to give someone money to cover debts. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, gambling debts, whatever. That's just, that's just my only question. I think we overdo all of our laws. It's like, you know what? If I have money and I want to give it to somebody, I should be able to give it to you. I don't should, and there should be no IRS involved, no nothing. But that's a rant. Um, that's just my own little rant because um, I just I think the government needs to stay out of our lives in terms of those types of things. But this whole thing is obviously it's a huge issue. Um, the facts that we have is that um, Ipe went out there and, and confessed to the team that, that he's a gambler, took all the responsibility, blah, blah, blah. We know that there's multiple stories, uh, multiple stories that he seemed to have told. And we know there is now an investigation from MLB. And there should be. Um, betting on baseball. Betting on baseball is the death penalty. So there better not be any of that. The rest of it, baseball should have nothing to do with. Uh, well, I guess if there's illegal stuff, you know, illegal gambling. And I don't know what makes an illegal gambling site. I, that's, I really don't care. I don't really participate in that stuff. I've done DraftKings, I think, once. I uh, didn't really like it. Uh, I, I don't like having money at stake. Stock market's bad enough for me. So... Um, those are things I'm just not going to sweat. And when when the facts come, the facts come. We, we've we seen it with um, a certain other Dodger player from three years ago with what happened. And um, and first of all, I just, I, I, to be honest, I don't think it's almost fair to be suspending players um, without, without the investigation happening, it, especially because it penalizes the team. And all that. So let's take the the Bauer thing. 
I'm going to let's just take that one for right for the moment. Right away he gets suspended and the Dodgers are on the hook for all that money. I get I get it. Okay, so it's an administrative thing so you pay Bauer. Why should the Dodgers get penalty taxed, you know, or payroll taxed and all that crap for those types of things? That's nothing the Dodgers could have controlled. If they would have known that there was going to be a case against Bauer like that, whatever the outcome, doesn't matter right now at the moment. Why are the Dodgers getting punished for that? That's just silly stuff. So either don't suspend guy, let him play, or if you're going to put these guys on administration leave, administrative leave, it should not count against the Dodgers tax payroll tax calculations. It's just absolutely insane. Baseball is super broke in a lot of ways. I think, you know, talking to friends at work and stuff, no one likes the pitch clocks. When are we going to have a case where the World Series ends on a pitch clock violation? That will be the worst. There's a lot of things going on in baseball. There's going to be a massive strike. The players' union is, you know, rebelling allegedly and all that type of stuff. So, you know, let's just, I don't know, there's so much going on. Uh, with baseball, that they really got to get their crap together. After 2016, there could be a horrible strike, horrible lockout, whatever you want to call it. So that's me addressing the show. We will find out. I'm already seeing some really good, good comments about you know time will dictate the truth. And you know, yeah, let the chips fall where they may. If whoever is guilty is guilty. Okay, um, but that's just the way it is. So um, I'm hopeful. My my, of course, I, I don't want anyone to be doing bad things. Um, Ipe is a was a is a popu- was a popular guy, and he's friend you know friends with Otani and allegedly his best friend in the United States. It's it sucks. So whatever happens sucks. Um, I hope there can be um, on their side some type of a healing. But of course, justice does need to justice let justice roll, right, folks? All right, let's get a little bit to the chat. All right, yeah. So starting at the top, Nando Nando chose violence. The Dodgers have the highest payroll and worst infield. Um, let's see. Yeah, Showtime says Otani should be fine. We don't even know if he's going to even be fine. That's That would only be if he did the the betting on the illegal site, because that's what I guess happened in 2015 with some case of some pitcher that no one's ever heard of. By the way, I am fully locked in and loaded, full styrofoam cup from a Mexican restaurant, because styrofoam's illegal, but they still serve it, which peace to my 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 homies there and um it is filled with dr pepper zero so watch out um i'm ready to roll um i don't think the worst case scenario is that worrying i think i think you're right michael latest reports seem to implicate ipe more and more it could be we'll find out though because those reports so i am i am extremely disappointed and the reason I came out with this thing with the overreaction is some of the national writers, some of the national figures are coming out and saying just some of the absolutely stupidest things. And it really it's disappointing. It's people that I like. Talking just some of the just some of the worst tweets. I am not going to give them light. But just making all sorts of assumptions. That is absolute terrible reporting. National and some of the some of the locals. None of the blo- none of I haven't seen any of our uh, blogger compadres uh, being just coming up with some stupidity. But yeah, check yourself, folks. You writers, you got to be better than that. You got to be better than that. You can't sit there and be a national guy and go, hey. You know, he must be guilty because of this. You're just making all sorts of things. Now, hey, again, let the chips fall where they may. 
if for some reason the worst case, the absolute worst case would be that it was actually Shohei and he's betting on baseball. If that's the case, adios amigos, you're out, you're gone for life, you will never play Major League Baseball again. That's the way it is. I don't think that's the case. But if that was the case, that's the way it should be. And he wouldn't go in the Hall of Fame just like Pete Rose. So that's just the way it is. Um, let's see. I, it's sad that yeah, Nando's. It's sad that these nerds on Twitter and YouTube just want Otani to fail, and solely because of Dodge. Only. Yeah, that's it. yeah. And you know what? Hey, l- l- come on. Let's be let's be honest. If he signed with the Yankees or the Padres or the Giants, I have a feeling, or you know, he'd be the same thing. We'd also be freaking out. We'd be criticizing them for Yoshinobu Yamamoto if he signed with them. So that's just the way it is. That's just fans being fans. We're just a bunch of idiots, and we have our bias, and that's okay. I'm okay with the bias. Um. But at the same time, if you think about it, if you really, st- if we all step back and go, we're dealing with human beings, things like that. And that's where I, you know, that's the thing of this channel. They're, the players are human. We're, I'm a human. Uh, obviously, you all are human. We have, we're all, we're all human. We're not perfect. And as a Christian, I want the best for everyone and everyone to repent and get their act together. All right. Baseball has to monitor this. Agree if you pay someone's debt, it's not gambling. Yeah, yeah. See, the Craig, I'm with you. It, it's just you know, I, I just friends helping friends. I mean, do we need the pitch clock in the big leagues? Oh, I mean, gosh, one eyed dragon, you preach, my man. Just preach. I just, you know, I was talking to a guy, uh, my my Cleveland guy, and um, he was at, he was in San Diego, and so he comes in periodically because he's a remote dude but you know we're just talking about because we both don't like it but it's like especially in the playoffs so it's like why, why can't they just like at least in september get rid of it and let it be, let it be gone you're going and sitting there going oh we're gonna have these things decided by a pitch clock and we're also gonna shorten the game so you literally you literally mlb you want people to watch less postseason baseball how stupid are you Dang it, I forgot to hit record. Oh, well, I'll have to wait for an, a day to put this on uh, on the podcast stream. Oh, well, dang it, Tim, you're just weak. So weak. Um, let's see. I bet someone with the Angels was the whistleblower and all this. Maybe. That's a good point. They let, you know, okay. All right, I have something special. Let's Since Nando brought it in, hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Let's go. Tinfoil hat time. Nando brings it up. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> let's go right down to it. What? Let's let's let, bring it out. Bring out your worst conspiracies or your best conspiracies of what is happening with this whole Otani thing. Well, I want to hear it. Let's let's go a little uh, tin foil hat. I I do have the tin foil hat. I am ready. So while you guys are putting those things in, we'll go some of the, some of these other things. Um, hopefully, Epe gets the help he needs. I know, yeah. Also, Lux, Lux does look good. Lux does hit. Yes, yeah, so all this makes the Angels look like an even more corrupt organization. Yeah, they got they've had problems, right? They had all those drug things. Um, uh, uh, you know, they had the ba- some baseball scandals and things like that. Darth Vader loves the Angels. <laughs> um, I don't believe necessarily in curses, but the Angels have had so... I mean, through... F- this has been 50 years long of deaths and things like that. Just awful things that have happened in their organization. Um Let's see, they had people calling, dealing drugs, and helping Dr. Balls. I know, yeah, the Angels, yeah. Uh, Showtime, yeah, that's one of them, that's for sure. Yeah, Pacific Patriot going, ha, just responded to this comment. So many who claim to be the experts 
that they are not or claim to have final verdicts to a story they have barely even heard about. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Let's go. The appear was found to have lied about being a UC Riverside as well as having went to a casino dealer school for a while. Yeah, I saw that too. I saw a little bit of that, at least about the UC Riverside thing. Um, just letting off all those trash shows players, that was that was the right thing to do. Yeah, that's they let all them off. Terrible. Yeah, your San Diego Padre fans are preying on Tony's down, downfall. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Um, today is, is the day and I, I kind of wish I could go, but I, I just, um, I got other things to do. Um, Peter Seidler, they're having the, uh, celebration of life memorial for him today down at Petco. Um, again, rest in peace to one of the greatest owners that has ever, even though it's short, it was the, the candle in the wind, right? Short and sweet. Um, rest in peace, Peter Seidler. You are a great owner. And um, it's just too bad you, the, 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 your big flaw, his big flaw, A. J. Preller. I see the world through blue tinted sunglasses. Glasses. Okay, I see it through the red pill. Um, we need the pitch clock as much as we need Manfred. Preach. God had never intended there to be a pitch clock in Major League Baseball. Check your Bible. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna quote quote scripture. We know God's baseball fan. It says it right in the beginning. In the big inning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hmm. There you go. Um. Dan. Uh. Well. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna read Dan's comment. Yeah. Uh, just. Uh. Honestly, Dodge has been cursed since they went back on inviting a perpetual sister group that mocks Catholics. Yeah. Um, that whole thing was a disaster. Whoever came up with that should not be working for the Dodgers anymore. Yep, going full detective mode. I'm going full full tinfoil hat mode. Let's go. My conspiracy. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my conspiracy. If they ran into Pete Rose and Pete got him into gambling. There you go. Um, Nando 390, JP Fire Rising doesn't belong anywhere near the 40 man roster. I just don't think he ever had a good um outing at all in spring training. So the the fact he got put down to the minors is, is a good thing. He's got some things to work out. He's not he's not there yet. His his stuff ain't there yet. Yep, the Dodge the Angels reliever, Donnie Moore, um, Lyman Bostock, um, there's a, there's quite a it might, you know the names escape me um yeah there's there the, if you look up angels deaths there's quite a few bad things that happen pacific patriot i like this i can't wait for slander lawsuits of all those who claim to have a final verdict relying on all kinds of anonymous sources they would never make it as attorneys and should not be reporters i agree i agree what and and i think Pack Pat, that is exactly it. There's a reason the media is falling apart. There's a reason that people don't give a crap about what a newspaper says or what the or the the news ratings on, you know, MSNBC, CNN, and Fox News and all that stuff. They're all going down because these people aren't doing their jobs. They're coming in with a bias. If you really want to see something, um, if you really want to see what's going on. And they think they're putting on a good thing. Watch that thing, Morning Show, with um, what's uh, Jennifer Aniston, Steve Carell, um, the other lady. Um, her name's Bradley in the show. It's a silly name for a girl, just saying. Um, Reese Witherspoon. Um, they think they're showing how wonderful they are. At the end of the day, when they start talking about certain stories, and all it does is show is how biased these people are. They're not reporters. They're, they're editorialists. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hey, NS. Okay, can't stay long. Hey, good to have you. I'll get the... Oh, 
You know, it's better you better you doing it than or better than the vet doing it than you doing it. I I remember doing trying to do that stuff in the beginning. Yep. Everyone knew Yoshi was gonna have bad starts. He's adjusting. Amen. I, I think give him till June, July, and then we'll start making some judgments. Or at least I will. You guys make any judgment you want. That's the good thing about this channel. Have an opinion. And it's okay. I really don't care. Because it's okay. You know, it's just opinions. You, your opinion is as good as some of these reporters that are out there that are saying saying stuff. But at least you're not getting paid for it. You just, it's just an opinion. There's a difference between you know editorializing, opinionate, being an opinion, having an opinion, and reporting facts. It kind of sucks that you know, at least the way I'm looking at it, that it seems like the bloggers. Or the not the bloggers, the, most of the people that are online um, with podcasts are being the actual better reporters than the actual reporters. Think about that, and think about the crap that you watch on TV with CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News, and even ESPN. A lot of these things in the in the, in the newspapers you're reading, and the and the look for opinion, learn you know. Just take it, just understand right away when you read anything from the media. And even for me, I'm biased. You know my bias. I'm a Dodger fan. I am a Christian. I men politically, I am to the right. I am red pilled. Actually, more white pilled than anything. Red pill. I took the journey from the blue pill to the red pill. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. And and the rest. Now a white pill because I'm a Christian. But that's my bias. I'll bring my bias to you. I will tell you my bias. You have these other people do it. These other reporters should do the same thing if they're going to be more than reporting. But like when it comes to this, the facts and going, I'm just going to report. That's what I'm going to do with Otani. But I'm going to also give you a chance to have an opinion. And I'll tell you if I have an opinion. So that's just the way I'm got. So sorry for bringing that stuff in, but it just is what it is. Okay, here's a good one. Otani is a criminal mastermind that uses God-given baseball talents to funneling money for the Yazuka, including gambling. Yeah, or Yakuza. Yeah, it's not, that. It's not one of those. Um, my thoughts on Jorge Gonzalez from the D Republic, the clip of him throwing. Yeah, um, yeah look at his numbers. They're, they're, they're poor. Let's just hope he goes and gets um, can get that stuff going. He's a big boy. I saw him just briefly. I have some other video. So I have some, you know, as you all have seen, I've um, been posting a lot of clips. Um, but I actually have a lot of video that I took of actual, just not my phone, but with my camera. So the way I work, here's how I work. I think I went through it last time when I'm at, at the at the ballpark for the mine in spring training in the backfield. So I got my iPhone up against the fence. I've got my tripod with the thing shooting through the fence. I got shooting through the fence, and then I got my Nikon to take pictures. So I got all that stuff going on, <laughs> trying to make sure that I'm keeping this in there while I'm taking the, taking the picture while that thing's going on. That's what I do. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go, Pacific Patriot. You know it. Tinfoil, let's go. Let's go. There's always a time for that. Let's have some fun. Oh, here we go. Dan's, Dan's coming at you. I, Dan, I haven't seen a Lance Lynn joke yet. I'm, so, I'm a little disappointed. Secretly, Otani's dog, Decoy, is the mastermind that gave Ipe the access to Otani's account. Decoy is the gambler. Ipe, just the henchman, just took the fall. There you go. Facts. <laughs> someone should, someone's going to clip some of this stuff eventually and go, look what Rogers is saying. I don't care. Um, fire me. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, unlike those other reporters, this isn't my real job. This is what I do for fun. Those other people, they're actually paid to do what they're doing, and that's probably part of the problem. They're paid to get your eyes. I think Otani's, that Otani's a true victim. The haters are making a criminal the victim by saying he's taking the fall. It's demonstrative of our nation's problems. Yeah, CNS, it's, I mean, you're, I know you're, you're not being tinfoil there. You're just going, I think, you know, and it's a good, you say, see, this is what's, this is actually, if you think about it, this is what the reporter should say. They should say, like, like NS goes, I think Otani is a true victim. 
NS is not going, this is a fact that Otani is a true victim. He's going, I think. That's great. That that's all they've got to do. And their their credibility goes up a ton. Oh, he's the godfather. Otani the godfather. There you go. Yeah. So eh, it's more controversy. Definitely not something that the Dodgers wanted. Um, not something the team wants. And um it's a good point. Anyway, Otani's not going to answer questions about it. Um, oh, we're going to get to that in a minute, Showtime. Yeah. Craig, I think you're right. That If I had to say that I think this is what it is, I think I think Otani just trusts his longtime friend to do, to do much with his money, do too much with his money in his life. Yeah, I, I see that. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. And I still hope, I do want healing. I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that there's healing there, um, and and justice, or whatever. But that's the case again. I think. Um. So, it it someone complained, and it's I, I it's legit. Um, saying that um, with Otani not answering, that means that um, that now the Dodgers players have to um. The, the Dodgers players have to deal with it. Um, you know, that now the players have to answer for the Otani. No, they don't. Don't answer the question. If, if players, Dodger players, attention Dodgers players, you do not have to answer any stupid questions from anybody, myself included. Feel free to, to tell us, no comment, I will not answer, get a life, learn to code, whatever you want to say. Hashtag learn to code. I believe in that. Reporters, go learn to code. You need to. If you want to can you get going, yeah. So, you know, okay, ab- ab- abstract. My problem about saying Otani was the victim was going down from he paid, he pays debt, to show I had no clue, bro. You're telling us he took four million. Nobody, knew. yeah, but no one knows the real facts here. That's all I'm saying. And so, I mean, maybe. Um, gambling man just gave away gloves to all elementary schools in Japan. Also, just gave a Porsche to a new teammate. Yeah, that's a gambling man. The bad gambling debt. Seriously, people need to chill. Yeah, Ryan, R. I mean, yeah, we just don't know. We don't know. And it, you know, all you can, all we can do is go is do speculation. And this is the time to speculate. None of you guys, or none of us, are getting paid to do this. We can speculate all we want. We're not reporting facts. We're just reporting opinion, which is great. Maybe Otani can get Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's account. Yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of guys that have been robbed blind. Tony Gwynn had to file bankruptcy in, uh, I think it was 1989, 1990. A few other, I think Jack Clark was involved with that, too. I can't be sure where they lost a lot. Um. Yeah, those were Ipe's words, not from Watani. We just don't know. Lance Lynn is okay. <laughs> here it is. This is the okay. Here we go. Okay, here it is from my man Dan Spiration. Lance Lynn is behind the betting side. He paid them to leak the news about Ipe, hoping to get Otani suspended before the Dodgers play the card so he won't give up home runs. Ding 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 ding. That's the fact, Jack. There we go. That's it. All right. Yeah. Um. So, all right. I am kind of done discussing Otani. You all keep discussing in the chat. There are some baseball chats I want to talk about. So I'm going to put the tinfoil hat away, but I will keep it available if necessary, for this show or any other show because I think it is fun sometimes to dig in a little deeper and just let her rip. So give me a second. Be right back. (laughs) I threw my other hat too far. I couldn't get it back. (laughs) Okay. 
Um, it was Kareem's former manager. Yeah, it's and and with with um Gwyn, it was his agent. I think it was. Jack Powers. I doubt it. I could order an Uber Eats in Japan, Japan, Japanese, let alone bank wire. Obviously, if he filled out everything, you know, Tani had to take his word. Yeah, could be. Um, Yamasan disappointed me, but I love the offense. Kept coming out. Yeah, good point. So there was a defense thing coming up. There are a couple people talked about our guy, Max Muncy. And... <laughs> my man Bob Nightingale I think Artie hired someone probably knowing that it was going on during his angel days who knows yeah <laughs> who was that crazy guy yeah it's all in fun right if you can't have some fun why why do this stuff yeah it's just a way to, it's a way to, you know that some of it just get it off your chest where do I go to church I go to a church called Cross Connection in Escondido it is a Affiliated Cal with Calvary Chapel and with um, Southern Baptist, um, but I'm I'm looking for more high church. I mean, I love the pastor though; he's really good. And people are good, but I want to at least experience a little high church every once in a while. A little tired of the low church. It's pretty. <laughs> it does involve an alien abduction. Yeah. Thank you. Let's bring Tom DeLong from Blink One Eighty Two in. Let's let's get him in the in on this one. So Max Muncy, Captain Obvious, he looked like terrible. That was terrible at defense. I mean, the Ole, and then just not getting down on the ball. And and part of it, you know, we talked about this. We talked about this, and I did. He needed to lose thirty pounds. He need, he only lost fifteen. Um. I mean, um, and he's just, he's, he, he has, so Muncie is very athletic. He is very athletic. And that athleticism sometimes helps him. But there are, um, he's not what you would call a classical defender. But I remember when he, when he, was playing first base through 2021. He got really good at first base. He did. Second base, he got he got actually to be a little bit above average. Third base, he's still below average. And, and I don't, you know. Now let's. I'm gonna make an excuse for Muncy though. You ready for it? Dude's been sick. Dude was sick for a while. He lost 10 pounds. That's not good. And that was bad. That's not the good loss. That's the, oh my gosh, it was coming out of both ends loss. Oh, Peter Angelos passed away, Angels owner. All right, rest in peace. The Angels did release Jesse Chavez, 40, trying to play one more season. I That guy got away with just, I don't know how he was able to do it. Good for him. Though. Jesse Chavez playing that long, good for him. I, I'm just loving it. Um, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um. Yeah, so Muncie, I, I'll make. I'm going to give him that excuse, but um, it is, it's still really, really concerning. Um, Mookie, I thought looked fine at short, and Gavin looked decent, good enough at second. Freddie, of course, at first. Jason looking good in right. He's a, he looked so far. Jason's looked really good. Um, Outman's looking fine. Some would say in two ways, but you know, I'm pause. Um, to Oscar, I, I told you, I told you all that he would go to right field. So they pulled, they, they pulled Hayward and they put Teoscar Oscar in right. And then, then Kike and left. That's what they'll be doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, we got a problem with Muncie over there, but you know what? There's there are solutions to this, and part of it is going. Hey, you know what? If the game's close, we're taking him out at the end. You can do that, but you know, um, yeah. All the rest in peace for Peter Angelos. He was 94. Man, 
good for him. I don't know how well it ended for him. Um, you know how where you know what his state was, but um, yeah. So a lot of Padres, Padres fans are Padres are being at the at the field. Good for them. Uh, good for them. They they need to honor that man. Let me go to that real quick. I think it's worth worth showing. Um, you know this is this is b- about more than you know more than baseball. So, um, well, Padres, all those players are there. Good for them. I, this well done, Padres. Well done. Well done. Um, that should you know. Good man is gone. And good man for my community. Not that I, you know, I don't want the Potters to do too good. But um, a lot of people, he gave a lot of hope to the fans here. And there's a lot of really good fans. You know, people are going to go, oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the real fans. I'm not talking about the ones that got their brand new Manny Machado ugly jersey, and that's the only thing they've got. I'm talking about the ones that have the OG brown ones, the OG navy blue. Those people, the ones that actually were rooting for Ken Caminiti with, of course, Tony, the great Tony Gwynn, when they had Steve Finley, Kevin Brown, Trevor Hoffman. Dave Stewart was the pitching coach for a couple years. So that's what I'm talking about. Those Padre fans, these are, some of these newbies, they're just, they're just learning, and they'll, they'll become Dodger fans soon. And uh, or just won't become baseball fans, but you know what? It's um, we want people to be baseball fans. Uh, more about Muncie, yeah, yeah. No, don't forget about Musgrove. So yeah, the Dodgers at the same time. Yeah, that game sucked. I didn't wake up until a little after four and I could turn on the TV and it's nine to two and I'm like, huh? Padres nine to two, and it was like bottom of the second or something. Or yeah, it's bottom of the second. And so holy smokes. Dodger offense didn't give up. Now, Yamamoto did give up five runs in the first. The bullpen gave up 10 runs in the eight, in the following eight. So, really crappy pitching all the way around. Um, I don't know, you know, Bruce Dar and Trinan, we need them back. Uh, Bruce Dar barely did anything in spring training. It's going to be a while before we get the Bruiser back. Now, what did I say? Oh, you can never have enough pitching. What else did I say? Pitchers break. And, of course, it's not my money, so go sign some more pitching. Let's go. Um, (laughs) Yeah, so Musgrove gave up quite a bit. And he has not – Musgrove didn't look good in spring training, at least the things that I saw. Hey, CNS. Yeah, Otani can play short when Mookie pitches. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) So I guess, well, Otani might be playing defense by the end of the year. Why hasn't Chris Taylor played? I don't know. You know, so some of the the Dodgers are really bad about news. Oh, my man, the Incline Dodgers podcast, my man, Kevin Klein. Please, please, please watch him. We're Kevin and I, we're going to be on together soon. Um. We're going to, yeah, we're going to, we're because I, I was on his show. Maybe I'll be on his or we'll be on, or I'll, he'll be on mine, but we're going to do some more things together. That's for sure. We just like cho- talking ball, man. That's where it's at. Um, Yeah, so they are a reliever at least. They, you know, you know, Kyle Hurt, that's one of the things we're hoping for. Um, And someone was saying, you know, someone up here in the chat was saying maybe the ball's a little juiced. It, it was kind of a weird one. Uh, you know the 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 fence. You know that it only it took a it took some real big wallops to get that ball out. What Mookie did, and then Machado. Um, what he did to that ball isn't even fair. <laughs> we just uh, he he basically one swing sent fire rise into the minor leagues. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So back to why CT hasn't played. I don't know. The Dodgers, he could be hurt. The Dodgers don't volunteer any of that information until then we find out later. Oh yeah. Well, you know, he had major surgery he had Tommy John and all that. That's, but you know, they don't, they don't tell you information. They're very, very guarded with their information. 
That's why the whole Dave Roberts about what the show A was so funny because that was very undodgerish. I think Doc was like, yeah, I don't care. Fire me. Um, yeah, Gratterall's on the 10 day, trying in. Um, there was a, I'm going to pull up the, D, the Dodgers uh, DL or IL, whatever. Gosh, people are just so sensitive. Um, let's see the roster. Um, uh, let's here we go. Going through the roster. All right, that's let's go to the forty man. That's what we need. Forty man. So Bueller, of course, is in the IL. Fire Rise of Miners, Frosso Miners, and the he's gonna he's hurt. Matt Gage, get ready for him coming up. Gonzalez. Yeah, there's Bruce Dar right there. Grove still up. Um, oh, sorry, Kevin. Uh, Hud's Huddy, he looked fine. Kershaw on the IL. Nat got sent down. Dustin Sheehan, I'm concerned, and Blake Trinan. So that's a lot of pitching. You can never have enough pitching. I'm just saying. Facts. Yep, I agree. Sheehan's injury does scare me. They said forearm, didn't they? So when it's forearm. <sighs> I ain't gonna say it. Again, these guys throw I've said they throw too hard in some ways. They're doing too much to their bodies. They're not we're not we're not meant to consistently try to throw hundred and ten percent for multiple for innings upon innings. Yeah, River Ryan never saw I didn't I didn't hear about him or anything when I was out there. Very concerning. Again, you know, my original pitching list, and I, you know, a couple names have been added. Let's see if I still have that thing here. I'm trying to find it. By the way, I just saw my thing. Hey, if you can, please click on my Amazon links. Yes, it's a grift. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to keep my thing in there. So if you could do that. Okay, so that's the who's in, who's out. Pitching. Okay, this is kind of going into spring training. Let me do this view. No, yeah, that view. Why not? All right. I said all these Dodgers could appear. These guys could appear with the Dodgers in 2024, and these are all starting pitching candidates: Yamamoto, Glasnow, Kershaw, Bueller, Bobby Miller, James Paxton, Emmett Sheehan, Ryan Yarbrough, Gavin Stone, Michael Grove, Kyle Hurt. Landon Neck, Nick Frasso, River Ryan. Okay, who's her? Okay, Kirsch, that's Kirsch out, Bueller, uh, Sheehan, and let's see, Sheehan, uh, and Frasso. That's four guys that are definitely, they're down for the count or are not going to be ready for a while. That's not even including the relievers. This is just the starters. Now, Stone is the fifth starter. Grove um, didn't didn't shine the way I was hoping him to. It kind of bo it's bothersome. Um, Hurt is going to, I think, be in the bullpen. Knack is a starter, but he didn't get his, he didn't get a chance to debut. A little disappointing he didn't get in that game. I really wish he would have. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. Um, yeah, I really wish he would have. I want to see him debut. He deserves to debut. Let's see. Do you think it's a good idea to play Otani in the outfield? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. But I think the Dodgers are going to be ready for it. Postseason, you got to go got to go all in. It's it's almost – who knows what they're going to have in play. But if they can put Otani in the field, that leaves another spot at DH, either for maybe Muncy goes there and they trade for a third baseman. But more than likely – or someone like um, – Someone like um, J.D. Martinez, who just signed with the Mets. Well, he'll probably be available in the, uh, what you call it, in trade deadline. So, prediction, J.D. Martinez comes back <laughs> in the trade deadline. We'll see. I'm just throwing that out there. IL has no ring to it. I know, it doesn't flow. Um, I'd love to, I would have loved seeing Phillips in the ninth again where only, when they're only one or down. The Potters used two of the relievers consecutive days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan of, uh, 
Yeah. You know what? Okay, so Ryan, I'm going to just uh, – I agree with you in so many ways because they really overused Phillips last year in situations with too many runs just for that stupid save opportunity. I look at it this way, though. And as a former Little League coach, manager, and all that, man, I love winning opening day. And so it's almost – it feels in in that way you just want to win that opening day. I hated losing opening day. Lost a few, won a few. I hate losing opening day, and I really love to win. So I'll give him credit on that one. But I don't want to see that as a consistent thing going, oh, let's go with Phillips. No, that's a chance for, you know, maybe Landon Knack or someone like that because there's 162 games. Evan Phillips, I thought, slowed down at the end of last year. I think it was maybe a little bit of overwork. Let's see. Dustin May, I didn't include Dustin May because there is no way he was going to be starting the season with this, and I don't see him as a starting pitching candidate. I could be wrong. I'd like, I hope he's healthy, but I see him as a reliever. Uh, need to work. Everyone, yeah, hire Greg Maddox to tutor pitchers. <laughs> he, he used to be in the front office a little bit. Okay, I didn't see this because I've been working way too hard. Bueller is supposed to debut in one of these three exhibition games against the Angels. Oh, good. Hopefully I get approved at least for one of those for a press pass. I doubt it, though. Um, spring training was is way too short. And that was way too short. That was insane. That's going to cause pitching problems. And that's, again, you can never have enough pitching. Sorry, folks. I should, I'm going to get shirts. Um, yeah, freeway season started spring training. Okay. Well, hopefully he gets some stuff in there. Trade Yamamoto for Phil Bickford. Hey, the great one, Phil Bickford was DFA'd. To make room for Dodgers, another Dodger legend, J.D. Martinez. Yeah. Yeah, I just see I, May is, um, those mechanics just kill him. It's not sustainable, and as we've seen. Um, so we're hoping that uh, he can, those can get fixed. Will Dodgers have Paez up for the Angels series? I wouldn't be surprised. What you will see is a lot of guys that are targeted for Rancho. So I definitely expect to see, and, and maybe some guys for Great Lakes, I definitely expect to see um, Kendall George there, Josue DePala, uh Zaire Hope, which is cool. That's a fun, fun group there. Paez, I think, will be there because they've got... Uh, they have another week before they go out. So the, the guys going to Rancho, will, there's a few from Rancho that will definitely be there. Um, probably a couple pitchers. Um, let's see. Do you think if Yamamoto is another bad game and Monty is still available, we'll get him? Um, in my opinion, they should get Monty no matter what. Um, but, no, the Yamamoto, they're going to they're, – they they're not going to panic on that one. They 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 know it's long term. So the MV3 probably won't play in the games against the Angels. <laughs> Are you talking about Otani? He's MV2. MV3. Are you talking about show showtime? Sorry. Slow today. Um, but yeah, the pitching in every team should be panicking about pitching. Pitchers have it really, you know, in terms of some ways, pitchers have it really good because there's a lot more, a lot more roster spots for pitchers. But at the same time, their careers are going to be shorter because of the wear and tear on their arms. So pitchers, my advice to pitchers, again, I'm going to talk directly to them. Oh, Betts, Otani, Freeman, the MV3. Oh, thank you. I'm going to talk to the pitchers, though. Pitchers, all pitchers, if you are offered any type of long-term contract, you take it, no matter how early. you got to take it. Your arm is not – you are destined for Tommy John surgery. I'm sorry to say that. You are destined for Tommy John surgery in general. These, <clears throat> these teams, they, they don't care that much about you. It's all pitchers. You are a commodity. You are replaceable, very replaceable. They don't care about you that much. 
They're going to use you until you break. They're not trying to keep your career going long. They're going to use you until you break. However, if you sign a long-term contract, maybe they'll take better care of you. Do it. Do it. Um, I don't know, one drag. I, I think spring training is too, was too short this time for the Dodgers. It was bad. Um, pitchers weren't ready. Uh, let's see. I think I think uh, Betts, Otani, and Freeman will play. Maybe not Otani in the Angels area. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe I don't know. That's a good question. But I th- I think they're going to play. They got to they got to stay hot, right? He, they just played two game well f- what four games in five days. Now they've got they've been off since. Uh, call it you know Friday today. You can't go into Thursday not playing, so they got to be playing. If the bottom of the lineup struggles, we'll be shocked to see Paez up up in either center or right. Very true. Um, lineup yeah, lineup look fine. So far, so good. Pitching or pitching sucked in game two. Offense was fine. They didn't quit either. There was no quit in that Dodger team. And Mookie Betts, holy smokes. Holy smokes. Yeah, there's. I thought there was plenty of goodness there. Um, hopefully that keeps up. That's two game sample. So <laughs> I'm just being optimistic. Yeah. Hope JD has a great season, just not against us. Yeah. And then gets traded back to the Dodgers. Be great. Yamamoto, small hands. Maybe that's the reason he's having control problems. Ball is bigger. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Does Ryan debut this year of healthy? Um, he's got great stuff, but man, this sets him back a lot. You don't think they would have checked out for three hundred fifty million? Yeah, they 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 know what they're doing on that. I, I'm not worried about that. Yamamoto will come around and quickly. Lux are doing better second yet. When Bueller, Kirsch, and trying to come back, the rotation will rock. Twenty twenty five. Otani may Gonsolin and add Sasaki. No room. Um, I don't counting on May or Gonsolin in twenty twenty five. Just not. Um. So and there, you can never have enough pitch. And we got Gavin Stone; he's looking good so far. We got Bobby Miller. Uh, we do have uh, River Ryan, hopefully, and we got some lefties coming. That's all good. We got some people coming. Um, would it be morale burster for Yamo Yama if he gets to open the first home game? Um, I don't know. They're already going. They already said it's Glasnow. Glasnow. Glasnow, Glasnow. It's kind of uh, gif gif. Gif gif. Gif gif. Yeah. So if the Yankees offer you five years for $150 million, you take it. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Blake Snell. Um, one, one word for Blake Snell. Hiya. Exactly. He blew it. Arnado. Yeah, we'll see, let's see. Arenado's getting older. He costs a lot of money. They'd have to figure that one out. That would that's you know, but yeah, the Dodgers are not going. I think they're really trying to cover their bases for twenty twenty four. That's why the switch was so quick with Lux, um, for Mookie, and you know it, to Roma, as a reminder, Lux is not playing shortstop in twenty twenty four. Allegedly, so that knocks him out of you know. Hey, let's send him down. Which I, I'm I'm fine with that. Um, let's talk about Mikolas, who is the starting pitcher for opening day, and he had some choice words to say about the Dodgers and their payroll, and really saying some stupid stuff as a member of the players' union. Here was complaining about the Dodgers, uh, you know, being basically sounding jealous, sounding sounding like a little, you know, junior hire, being all jealous, going, oh, Dodgers, they're making so much money. I'm not quoting directly. They're, um, they're just, there's so much and we hate them. That's kind of it. We want to beat them because they have more money. And we, it, 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 to me, implying, and I'm not mind reading here, so I'll admit that, that um, that they spend too much money. 
That'd be like me going to my company and going, oh my gosh. You, I, I don't want to make as much money. Don't, don't raise the ceiling. These people, these players are just stupid. Sometimes it's better to just not say anything. Don't say something like that because guess what, Miles Mikolas? If the Dodgers offered you money, you're gonna pay it, and he is way overpaid. Like eighteen million a year for mediocrity like that and a really bad mustache. Come on. Come on. Silly, silly, silly. Um, just dumb things to say. So, yeah, Mikolas, just think about what you say next time. You could say, hey, we want to beat a great team. That's all good. But don't sit there and talk about how bad you guys want to beat them because they make too much money. That's silly. I've okay, Jack Powers. Is what I like what I've seen of Paez, Drew Avens. Was, it's Avens, not Evans, believe it or not. It's the only person I've ever seen Avens, A V A N S, speed, and Jackson Ferris. Yeah, I saw I just saw the prospect stuff of Jackson. Paez looked good all freaking spring. I got um, just it's a short of Paez swinging the bat, getting a hit, hit, hit a rope. Um, Drew Avens, the Dodgers don't like him. I'm just, that that must be the case. He's an old school player. Uh, I know Casey really is a big fan of him, but he's an old school player, and the Dodgers just don't seem to do that. I think the, Drew is someone who, just like Ryan Noda, needs to go to the A's or someone like that and get a chance to prove himself and make some money. Because I want to see Drew Avens make some money. Jackson Ferris. Um, and Zaire hope that we got in the Michael Bush trade. I think I think this trade's gonna really work out well for us. Yeah. Yeah. Um Farmer wins millions, shocking, yeah. Avens, I have video of him, right, hitting a triple at Smithfield in twenty twenty two. Cool. Lots of speed. Yeah, he's fast. It's just he doesn't do what the Dodgers want. They're not gonna go and put him in in an, in a they're not gonna take 20, 20 plus home runs out of uh, left field or center field to put a guy in there that's going to hit two. So that that's just the way it is. Um, they don't value the speed or defense. They value the thump. That's just the way the Dodgers are. That's not saying Avens is a bad player because I think he's pretty cool myself. He's a, I like watching that type of baseball. I like that. A guy that's gonna, just going to go up there and grind it and um, he's a grinder. I mean, that dude, you know, Casey uh, had his thing, man. He's got all of the, all the, um, all the grit. I mean, Casey ran a poll of all as many Dodger f- guys he could get a hold of in the system about the grittiest, and it was Drew Avens. Yeah, the the whole Arenado thing. So. We'll we'll address the Arenado thing one more time. I agree he should have been a Dodger. But it's all his fault. He signed the contract and didn't bet on himself, which is, I get it. He did not bet on himself and signed that long-term contract with the Rockies. It was after 2019, a year away from free agency. He chickened out. Flat out. He chickened out. So, what, a year and a half later, a year later, he wants out. And guess what the Rockies guys aren't going to do? Just like the Padres guys aren't going to do. They're not going to go trade a really darn good player to the Dodgers. The Diamondbacks don't do it. The Giants won't do it. It's not happening. It's all Arenado's fault. He had the no trade. He could have said, I'm not going to St. Louis. He could have just said, I want out. He could have opted out. All that stuff. Oh, you like the wrong caps? Yeah. I wish I was in Pomona today, but I'm just, I don't have enough in in me to get there. I'll get out there for the finals. Plus, it might be raining up there. So I don't want to go up there and have it rain. Um, But yeah, I'd love to. 
need my nitro fix, but I'll get I'll hit a drag race sometime, probably somewhere else too. Um, how I wish Zach Nato is a Dodger, not an Angel. Very good young shortstop. Yeah, Dodgers hopefully got some young ones coming. I saw Brian Gonzalez. He was one of their one of their draft picks. Um, I didn't see Yoandre Vargas. Bummer. 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 But the Dodgers got you know a lot of young guys. You know, I got to see a few of them. The real young guys. You know, Albertus. Uh, the Martinez, uh, Martin U S Martinez, uh, U- U- Marish Hendrick, I think that's his name. Yeah, so um, good to see you, Mike, in the in the chat. And as you guys know, Mike is now working with Dodger Beat, or and with um, you know, the, all the Bleed Lows people and all that stuff. So make sure to check his stuff out. He's going to be writing hopefully about. Uh, who the next Dodger player from Japan or Korea is. Um, Yeah. All right. Anything else? Man, Mike, you missed all the, uh, all the, you missed the tinfoil hat. Came out in full force. But um, yeah, I think, I don't know if there's anything else. I think we're in good, we, I think it's a really fun show. Good to be back on. I don't know. Yeah, consistency is not going to be there for about a month. I'm going to be honest. Plus, if I if I go out to if I get any press passes or go to any of the opening weekends, um, you know, we're we're uh, I'm going to be tired. The stuff wears me out. Give you your nine key Myers. Yeah, you know that's it's an approach. The Dodgers don't like. Uh, they they did go after Keymire Keymire last year. Um. But I wanted Outman to get a chance, so and I think that worked out fine. Um, I'm a, I like a mix, but I do like I do like contact. But you know what? I can I can handle a few guys. Who all did Yamamoto send Dodger gear to his old team on his own team? What positions? Any future stars? I thought he sent some to Sasaki. Yeah. Yeah, the Otani stuff. Just we just had fun with it because the new the news is sparse. We have we have grifters out there, the national press and some of the local press. You know the old the old media. They don't they they're desperate. So you know versus I think a lot of the podcasters that you know the, in in our circle have been very good about it, about it. Then again, I don't sit there and listen to a lot of it. I th- you know, I saw Doug's, and he, he just spitted facts. And Doug was out in Korea. And um, I'm sure he's he, uh, still adjusting. I know Juan Toribio talked about that. Any prospects have an impact, an outman like impact? Yeah, man, Paez. I think so. If he gets a shot, and it's just a matter of time, I think he could have a nice impact. Um. I don't know about Miggy, Miggy Varga, or Miggy Vargas. I'm hoping. I don't know where he gets his chance. I don't know who goes. I don't know who gets a chance first. I guess it depends. If they need right field, well, they could always put Teoscar in right. right Teoscar is a, a, a average to a little bit above average. So for some reason, it's right field. It could be Miggy with Teoscar going to right or Paez staying staying in right. If it's left field, it could be either one of them. Um, if it's an infield thing, um, that becomes an issue. <laughs> um, Piaz does have, yes, he has 40 home run power. Absolutely. It's just the more contact he makes, the better it's going to be. There, It's there. It's in there. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's in there. Dude is just basically built strong. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to have uh, the Miners teams be announced um, kind of within the next 10 days. Oh, Mike, I was not happy with Nat getting option. He didn't get a chance. I want him to at least debut. <laughs> he didn't debut, right? I mean, I didn't see it. Then again, I could have fallen asleep again. Who knows? That was a weird game. And I was also in the middle of, you know, trying to get ready for work and... 
all that interesting stuff. But um, I'm just going to look at that awful box score one more time. Let's see. So Yamamoto gives up five runs. Grove, three earned. Hurt even gave up one and two. Vesia, of course, gave up a run. Yarbrough, zero earned runs in 1.2 innings. Fire Eyes and Haya, three run, earned runs in one inning. And then Varland finished it off. So, um, yeah, I'm bummed about not getting options. I just want him to at least debut. Get that freaking... Get in the baseball encyclopedia. Like what they did way back in the day with Jesus Martinez. The dude was brought up in September, never played. Not even one inning. Absolutely. Just put them on the roster. Make sure, find a spot for them to debut. Find a spot. Um, you're betting uh, Otani will lose some sponsorships. Yeah, regardless of the outcome. Yeah, because the overreactions, and we see that all the time, you know, Somebody says something taken out of complete context, and all of a sudden they're getting fired or they're getting canceled and all that stuff, and they don't get it back. Gina Carano, just saying it. Um, overreactions, and they lose everything. Um, Otani will lose some. Yeah, he will lose some sponsorship. Yeah. All right. I am going to... I'm going to go out to Hobby Lobby, hoping to find some Snake or Mongoose slot car stuff and maybe roll into nothing but cakes for their Oreo bunt cake. Knack does have great TV presence. Yes, we talked about that briefly. Yeah, he, he was on there with Kirsten. He was great. He is a, I've only talked to him a little bit. Very, very cool. Michael K can go. I didn't see it. I, I know I'm not going to click on it. But I heard I heard he way overreacted. Our you know one of our guys on the Twitter machine got uh, fired off on him. These people are just they're gonna look stupid, and yet they keep getting rewarded. So my advice is if people keep making mistakes and just and and purposeful, just being really idiotic about things, don't don't give them don't don't give them any shine. Just don't. I mean, if I become someone that becomes an idiot where I'm just making stuff up and all that stuff and I'm not reporting well, don't give me the shine. Don't don't come on my channel if I'm going to be an idiot. Now, if you you know, this is all fun. But if I if I start taking myself seriously and I go, I'm a full reporter, this is what I'm doing. And then I start reporting on stuff and it has bias. Just get just don't follow me. And you shouldn't. Don't give the shine to these people. They live for clicks. They get some of them get paid by clicks and views and all those types of things. I can tell you this. All right. There is a way on YouTube to see how much each video brings in. Pete Rose would have been back. No, no way. Uh -uh. Pete Rose, he commit. He's death penalty for baseball. No, Giamatti knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, and I think it was the right thing to do. Pete Rose should be banned from baseball for life. He bet on. He bet on his own team. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. So, um, you just can't do that. It's not allowed. It's it is the death penalty. You know that those are facts. That if you you know if I'm wrong, show it to me. But I know I'm right on that one. That's why he's never coming back into baseball, and I believe he shouldn't, because those them's the rules. Them's the rules. Let's see who. Uh, let's see. I'm just seeing if there's any more overreactions on the internet from some of these guys. No, they're all focused on. Uh, Peter Angelos, again, rest in peace. Um, yeah, Pete Rose is a bad human. Do you want to? Well, it, I, okay, I'm going to take your word for it. Pete Rose, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, uh, 
I, I, P. Rose is a great ball player. He's not a good human. You guys say what you want, but um, he should be banned for life. And, you know, more did come out later. I mean, basically, they could do, even after Bart passed, and it was really, really too bad. I think he would have been a better, better commissioner than Faye Vincent. He was much stronger. Faye Vincent was weak. And maybe with a better commissioner, we wouldn't have had, we wouldn't have lost the 1994 World Series. But yeah. Um, all right. On that note, and I'm just not a fan of Pete Rose. He's, he was a, he, there's so much to that guy. Just, he was never a, he's not a good human being. And I dealt with him as a kid and wouldn't sign a baseball card because he was afraid of a 15 year old kid. Uh, making money off a baseball card. So, um, if he would, yeah, yeah, pass on him. Oh, let's see. Ryan says, I only subscribed to X this year to get more baseball content, but after that Otani issue, I didn't open the app again, but I'm back to YouTube only. Yeah, um, I do a, um, my account. I do have a, uh, what's it called? I'm premium. And that's really just, you know, because it's, it's my personal baseball account, not the Dodgers 2080 account. Part of it is because I, I do want to support free speech, even though Elon's not really perfect on free, free speech. Just ask Matt, Matt Taibbi. Um, but also, I just want to be a little, you know, try to be professional on my account. Um, and... Um, who knows? Maybe make a jillion dollars. So I don't have to go back to work other than I can just do this. But that's not happening. Well, there's a one in a million chance. So you say there's a chance. Yeah. So, you know, just in general, there's a reason that they don't want people betting on baseball. I'd rather shake their hand, get an autograph. Yeah, that was a kid, though. When he, really, for me, I'd rather get a picture with him. Clickbait your way to fame and fortune. Yeah, I could do that. I know. This is about as click, clickbaity as possible. This title with the, you know, let's overreact. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I am not, I'm not against clickbait. But what I'm really, I'm not a fan of is, you know, former Dodger. Signs with whatever. I just don't like those titles. Just say who the thing is. To, to, and to be honest, you're going to get better engagement with a good title where you say the name. Because, um, you know, at least in my description, I've talked about the players and stuff like that. Oh, Nando, Dodge next superstar contract should have a clause where any off-field drama can cancel a contract on money. Yeah, I don't think they'd want to cancel Otani, though, but they sure would have loved to have canceled Bauer, I'm sure. Um, yeah, Players Union won't go for that. That's part of the problem. The Players Union, sometimes they miss out on the important things. The Players Union is part of the problem with steroids and testing. They didn't want it. Now I get you don't want to give up your rights, and I understand that. But the players' union has sometimes fought for some things. That's like, is it really worth it? But at the same time, you know, like they didn't fight against the thing. You know, they they gave a lot of power to to baseball to change rules. And um, let's be you know to be honest, they can say all they want about not liking the pitch clock. They do. They love the pitch clock. Now, it is impacting some pitchers, I believe. I believe. No facts. But they, 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 they love it because it, they're, out, they're out quicker. The You will not hear national or local press going, Oh, I hate, I, I hate the pitch clock. They love it. And they love it because they get to leave leave earlier like a half hour earlier than they used to or 20 minutes a half hour earlier it matters to them but i gotta be honest i don't think we should be catering to that 
This is an entertainment thing. But you know what? If people end up liking it, hey, Alan, what's happening? What is happening? Um, the fans will, will dictate what eventually happens with the pitch clock. And if the fans don't care, okay. You know, it just becomes a game that we're not used to. Um. So, yeah. I think Alan was part of my group that got me to 100. So, thank you for visiting. Good to see you. Because, uh, yeah, there was... Uh, the, the story of my channel, real quick. I was helping to coach... San Diego Hawks, a baseball team, a travel team. And we we're hanging out, I think it was in December. Just we were, we had these things where we we did these little talks. And part of it, we brought up my channel. And the whole goal was to get the team <laughs> or the team to help me get to 100 subscribers. And so my guy Alan here was was part of that group that helped get me to 100. So they got me so that I could do lives because I needed to get to 100 to do lives back then. So you can blame Alan and these guys, but I appreciate my my former Hawks. Hope they're, hope they're all doing well. Kind of hoping someone will be going to high school pretty soon, so I start following, being able to follow them again. But hey, um... Yeah, pitchers should have a five-second warning before a striker ball. I agree. Same with the yeah batter, too. There should be something that goes – or just make the number flash differently. I don't know. Or turn it a different color. There's got to be something um, to get their attention. Um, but I do hate the clock. So, <laughs> all right. Alan Cortez, good to see you out here. Hope you're well. It's been a long time. I think last time we saw each other was probably 20 or 22 Um, but yeah, let's get out of here. I got to do some, run some errands, have a good time, probably do some exercise, especially if I get that cake. All right. Thanks everybody. As always, thank you for coming on, hanging out, tucking baseball, specifically Dodger baseball. So talk to y'all later. As always, God bless and go Dodgers.